You know what it is, man. DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorough Zano, Bridge to the Streets. Right now, you're watching the hottest in the streets right here on this is 50com I'm super excited today, man. I got Harlem Royalty in the building, man. Thorough. What's up? Yeah. Introduce yourself. What's up, man? Avon Carter, formerly known, Carter. Carter, Harlem all right. World. <laughs> yeah. Over here to the far, far left. Got your boy Mino, a.k.a. the Glow Father. We in the building. All them for the world. I always want to say this. I'm the nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's get to that early. Let's get to that. Let's get right into that. <laughs> All right, I got to get right into that. Um, Dame Grease. Yes, that's shout the big out to Dame, Shout out to Dame Grease. He yes. does a lot of legendary production for DMX. If you don't know, he did DMX's whole first album. Yes, he did. If you don't know who Dame Grease is, then uh, yeah. you're not hip-hop. The end yeah. of the story. But let's yep. talk about your humble beginnings. How did you start? Um... Well, just coming up on 29th Street, mm -hmm. you know, right in the hood. Um, okay. Grease was the producer, you know. Um, we was right in the crib, just banging, right. banging, fine-tuning our art. You know what I'm saying? As youngsters, we're right. talking 14, 15. Right. Grease was on the beat. And we was just running around and started creating a sound. Right. You know what I'm saying? Along with a few other artists, me, myself. Grease was always on the beats. Right. And um, that's where it's like the core of... Me even ever rhyming started that in apartment 31, right, right in 29th with my boy Grease. So you know right. how that, and from there, um, I just kept blossoming, man. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna jump around. In okay. This interview. It's, like, it's I'm all gonna good. jump around. It's so, all so, good. so, 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 Cardan. Yes. Right. Now YouTube, along with um a couple of the members, I'm gonna have you name. You were in a group called Harlem Roll. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Let's talk about Harlem Roll. How did that? How did that start? Who started that? And um, how did you start and get well, into it? Well, Harlem Roll was always Mace's um, okay. dream to you know put his crew out. Right. And um, I met Mace in Harlem, St. Nick Projects, okay. um, back then, uh -huh. Children of the Corn days. Um, Rest in peace, Blood Shed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, we just linked, man, friends at first, and then Mace got put on, bad boy. Right. Took off, came back to get everybody. Which is rare now, because <laughs> people yeah. don't come back. When they yeah. gone, they gone. Yeah. They just is gone. <laughs> right, right, for, for real. real. So, yeah, he came back, got me, got Mino, got HUD, got um, Loom. Right. His sister Stace, Blink. Blink, which is Sugar J. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sugar J now, but no. Uh huh. Um, yeah, he just put us on, man. We got a deal, so so deaf, uh, okay. Columbia gave us a shot. Right. All right. right. Now, like I said, I'm going back. I'm going. I'm, I'm, going, I'm bouncing all over the yeah, place with this because I'm going somewhere with this. Yeah. So Harlem Road made a lot of noise. Yeah, we fast. Did. Yes. Very, very fast. Yes. So much noise that you mm. and a Mr. Sean Carter uh -huh. got into a little dispute. Uh huh. How did you and Jay Z? How did oh, that whole, man. how did that rap battle start with you and Jay-Z? How did that start? Wow, you just went into the fouls right <laughs> oh, now. Oh, yeah. Oh, come um, on, maybe this is what I do. I um, was there. I know what's going on here. It, it was a little, you know, past the Harlem World situation. Okay. When me and the homie um, got into that little verbal altercation. It was, yeah, it was a verbal altercation. Yeah. Right? Um, it was one of the first, you it, know, yeah. and... Um, it was a Harlem thing, basically. Right, right. You know, it was a lot of things going on. I'm not gonna get into too much details okay. at the time, but it was a lot of things going on, and I felt I just needed to say what I needed to say for my town. Right. It was. It was. It was rap. It, it was wasn't rap. never about him being a whack rapper right. or nothing like that. It was just, you know, I needed to stand up for the town. Right. And you know, he saluted me by coming back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You he know, acknowledged you. Like right. he say, if you it ain't worth it, I ain't coming at you. I, ain't coming I was. At you. Right. I'm like one of the first right. dudes. So salute to whole too you know i gotta see you we got things we gotta talk about man it's a new day it's a new age right now have yeah. you seen hope since then i haven't you never I haven't. Still haven't seen <laughs> i haven't seen him right. but you know we men it was right. a different space at that time there's a lot of hunger everybody's fighting to get to where right. they was going and that was the culture right. you know what i'm saying as of it's battle no it's battle right. right so that was the precedent and now it's a new day and age where the game is so open you know the veracity and the right. intensity kind of, right. they making a fake rap battle. Do you think now. that helped your career or hurt it? Because at that time, Jay-Z was that, I mean, he was he's big. Still, he's still the right. biggest. Yeah, he was the biggest. Right? Like Rockefeller so, was, it was killing everything. Right. So, so for him to answer you, uh -huh. and pick, like acknowledge that, uh -huh. that shows your, you know, where you was at. Oh, game. skill set, of skill, course. Right, if the right. greatest comeback Cause, at cause you. Because anybody not gonna just answer anybody because nah, he nah, said nah, something. Nah, They're not gonna waste their time. Yeah, he went at me a couple of times. Right. He was like the Drake. Like I'm trying to paint this picture for these people. He was Drake and you were who you were and you right. went at him and he came back and oh, said something. a couple of times. Right. You know what I'm saying? And y'all got on, a, I got something coming out soon. We gonna get more in depth. Yeah, we gonna but, get into that. Yeah, right. but um, as far as hurt or help, 
we could say at that time the game was different, so it might have hindered because people get scared. Right. You know what I'm saying? But um, they didn't do anything directly. It was just the, the right. forecast and what the game was. But as far as who I am as an artist and as a real rap historian. See, he's a historian. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I'm really a historian. You see that, so, you see that LeBron? Um, he's a historian. Yeah, so <laughs> I feel great about it. You right. know what I'm saying? I know what it was, just like he does. You know what I'm saying? Right. It was the art of war. It was the art of war. That's it. Because right. that's what we do when we play with this microphone. Right. We go to war. Right. They play around a lot now, but right. we get we get busy. We from that cloth of who's the best. Right. Like, I don't know if it's in the water, man, but it's something about way Har like Harlem MCs, man. Uh -huh. Like they wittiness, they punch lines. Mm -hmm. That brings me to this guy here, Cardin. Like every, I, was, I was talking to him. <laughs> I was talking to him off camera. Like there's this freestyle he did. It was mm -hmm. on DJ Clue tape. I always remember this shit. Mm -hmm. I, I, re I, like, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> like I know the line he said. Right. He was on Clue. It was him. It was him and uh -huh. Mace and Mace. Uh huh. And the rhyme he was like, this is when Navigators was popping. Uh -huh. He was something about, <laughs> it was something about like I got a black on black. Um, from Navigator, and you don't uh -huh. really want to make me scratch these alligators. Uh -huh. <laughs> Some I crazy remember that line. Right I'm like, yo, this kid is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was actually live on. He was live. Remember, Clue had the Monday Night Mixtapes. Right. Wow. I'm going to tell you what you was rhyming over. You was I rhyming forgot. over DMX. Get at me, dog. Mm. Okay? Yo, we went through, that's what so, you was many rhyming over. We went through so many beats that day. That's, <laughs> when we was, that's when Crew was used to go up to the station and kill them. You had kill a firm, the locks. Right, uh, right. You right. know what I'm saying? Niggas used to just go up there and get, get crazy. I was so young then, man. Right. I, but I remember that, too. You remember that, right? Yeah. What was that experience like? like what? Man, looking back on it, it's um I was just soaking up game, man. I was right. young. Now looking back too, they was all killing me. Right. No, you well, nah. not that day. Nah. That day you was Mason killing. Camp, they was like they was so advanced right. for me. I now looking back, I'm like, damn. Some kind of, I feel a little bit embarrassed, but you know, I was 15. Right. Nah, you was you know killing saying? it. But I was still doing my no, thing. No, you was, you was yeah. holding your own, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I still remember Mason Rhymes bounced through LA, blue and red Pele. Right. So what the hell they can tell man? me? Yo. Come on. There was I was like, yo. Man, they can't. was like, I was like, now <laughs> looking back, I'm like, Damn, what, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. So let's go here with you. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the boss man up here, 50 Cent, he came out with this song called How to Rob, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of made you think. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Come on, I forgot about Right. And he brought your name up. He said something about I put the get I put the gun in the car in and something, oh, something, something. Man, how did nice how did were you happy about that? Because a lot of people be like, yo, well, he said my name, yo. Right. What the fuck? Nah, I mean, it was I, I was happy about it because right. it was he was dissing everybody. Right. <laughs> right, fifth, of, and that was early fifth too. Right, early that fifth. wasn't uh, in the club. Fifth. Right, right. That was the that early, was early fifth. fifth. That was so the I hungry was like, fifth. You know what was you know, the crazy part about that? <laughs> and we used to get, at that time. We used to be out at the clubs. They used to play that shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So at the clubs, it's like it was a weird emotion. Like, right. should like, I be rocking to this? <laughs> like, what's going on? But it was all in fun. I know fifth. Right. You know he, he meant well with it. But that was a dope song. Still is a dope. That song. was a tonal banger. Yeah. yeah. That that was the yeah, tonal yeah, banger. Yeah. That's when I knew, like, oh, this kid is dope. Right. 50 was dope. Now, have yeah. you ever met Fifth? Have you ever I had a conversation Fifth, um, about the, well, after that? Fifth. Have you? I, yeah, I did. I, uh, <laughs> I got. You know what's crazy? I got a picture. I don't know. I can't take it out and show y'all. But yo, I got a picture. I saw Fifth at the. He was um, coming out for New Kids on the Block. Okay. He did something like he came out. It was, the, it was a show they had at the Garden. Okay. And Nelly was matter of fact it was the Nelly New mm, Kids on the Block. Glad you brought that he up. Came out. And I got a picture with him, like, yo, Fifth, remember this? <laughs> and yo, I got a picture with him, like, yo, I put the gun in the car there. Oh, so I, say, I got a picture with him, like, this. Oh, Swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to put that picture up. We're going to find that picture. We're going to put that picture up. Classic. Yeah, so I saw him. It was love. Right. It was right. love. It was now, love. a lot of people don't know, man, your pen game is vicious. You yeah. wrote a lot of hits for a lot of people, mm -hmm. in particular, Nelly. You did a lot of writing for Nelly, like a lot of writing um, for Nelly. Let's talk about that. Well, Nelly came up, Kuda, you know, Kuda used to manage yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Nelly. Uh, Kuda actually got him his deal. Right. Helped him out with the Salem Six. Shout out to T-Love. Shout out to all of them. Right. Um, yeah, me and Nelly, we did we did, we did a lot of collaborating right. with right? And then um, we made, you know, we put out right. some hits together. Okay. Yeah, for sure. That's what this is. Right. This is real, yeah. Can we get a, what's the, what's the craziest story you got with Nelly hanging around him? Uh, I know y'all got cool, some crazy man. Goop, groupy stories, man. Uh, you know, I, let me tell you the story. We, we shot the video in, at the Playboy Mansion. He, he got a joint with Justin Timberlake on one of his albums. That's we shot the video at the Playboy Mansion. And y'all didn't invite now, me. Now, that's it. a story in itself. Right. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, was Hugh so, Hefner there? Hugh Hefner was there. He was there? Yeah, wow. he was running around that whole shit. It's like we rented it. Wow. 
Monkeys wow. jumping trampolines. <laughs> they said monkeys. The, yo, it was monkeys the fucking, there. The, the bunnies. Oh was shit! Not, yeah, that was a that was a cool time. Right. right. Mm-hmm. All right. We're so still family. So it's still it's still, still family. Yeah. It's still I still work with right. them. Right. All right. Year. Now I, I, I want to touch on this and we'll touch it. We'll we we'll jump off of it. But I got to touch on this. So um, your, your your brothers um, Cameron and Mace, mm-hmm. they had got into a, um, a, a, a dispute lyrically, a lyrical dispute. Who were you rooting for in that? Um, but who, who, where were you at? How did that make you feel about that? Like, how, you know, like that was crazy. Yeah, that that came out like Black Friday. That was just out right. of nowhere, right? Mace right. Just dropped the diss record after after so long. Um, I really was neutral in that. I was right. just enjoying it like everybody. To okay. be honest with you, I was just enjoying the the, the back and forth. For the back and forth. Yeah. Right. It wasn't. I really didn't have a side. Both both of those were my guys. Right. You know what I mean? I really didn't. Right. I, don't, I didn't feel nobody's this was better, nobody's this was worse. I right. just was enjoying it like everybody. Right. Now, real quick, I'm, like I said, I'm going to get on this and I'm going to jump off. What's your relationship with Cam and Mace now? If, if, if any. Good. I just saw Cam and Nemes uh, okay. in Jersey. Uh, okay. Me and Cam is cool. All okay. love. All love. Dope. All love. Mace, all love. All love. All That's love. what it is. All right, so, Mino. What's up? What we got now? You working? What's we doing? Let's oh, talk yeah. about it. Um, we branded my guy. We've been building his new brand for okay. about the past three years. He, I'm, I'm, he got about 10 videos out as Avon Carter. Avon so Carter. I like that check. name. Yeah. I, 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 it's something about check. that. Yeah, of course. I like so that. You get it. Yeah. You tuned in. You see like how it's ringing? Right. Right. That's what we're talking about. Right. He got about 10 joints. Okay. You know, um, we definitely dropping the whole project on him. Right. Top of 19. Right. Somewhere in there. And, um... I don't really rhyme no more. Oh, don't tell me that. Nah, 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 nah. No. I'm going to be honest. Don't tell me that. Nah, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm going to be honest. No, that's, um, like it. that's like one of your heroes. Like, I don't play ball no more, kid. Like, no. Yeah. Um, nah, I Sorry. still work. I got a dope project that I really want to put some, out. You got something in the stash, though. Of course. All right, so with that being said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this segment on the show, right? Mm-hmm. You're used to this. It's called On The Spot. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know what that means? You know what that means, right? Oh, man. I got to put you on the spot, man. We need to hear some of them Harlem World bars. We need to hear some bars, man. It could be something written. It could be that go-to rhyme. It could be something. I just need people to know the legendariness of your fucking skill level, man. They, oh, me. You, exactly. Oh, you man. and this guy. All right? I don't care who go first, but go ahead, go ahead. we got to set oh, this man, off, man. Come on, man. This legendary right here, man. This is my dream right here. Let's go. I'm from a place 50 blocks long uh. where a nigga grandma hold a crack for him and he never left the block but only rock foreign from the claws to the clothes talking about Harlem. Yes, darling. I do it for the daily departed. Let's get it started. It can never fuck with memes regardless. I'm being honest. My flow's too polished. I graduated from the big Tupac College, soon Kun Laude, and I talk that talk. Let me get right to it. If I talk about mace, I'm big enough to do it. If you talking about beef, be big enough to chew it. Man, this shit way deeper than some music. Nigga, take everything I got, put it in the pot. With the bitch kind of clock to everything lock. I got an air thing block. You know the soft, the hard. How many air things air thing got? Mm. If the flow was the dope, I'm the fitting all. Shit sound like the shit y'all been missing, huh? Told y'all I was the nigga, y'all ain't listen, huh? Well, I'm back for the fall, man. Christmas, dog. Shit is 16. <laughs> I throwing extra bars just for the non believers. Your man's man don't want no problems either. Pop shots at your bottom feeders. Come on, all right, chill. All right, all right. Chill. Carter, let's go, baby. This is good. Avon Carter, let's go. Avon in the building. Let's get it. I said, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time for the passion of Tupac. Huh? Three times for the beast I released on these rap niggas who try. Sunshine on me, a little water. Look now, I done grew, huh? What? Huh. I ain't playing with these niggas. I don't need to joke around with the new guy. <laughs> Shit. Let me calm down. Hold up. Wolf we'll side. <laughs> I don't even see him no more. This tunnel vision. I don't need a hundred bitches, boy. I need a hundred million. Uh. <laughs> I say it's impossible, but now they got me on a mission. Doing how I'm doing, like I'm doing it for television. Uh. I spit these bars. I sleep with. We're not the same. No, no. I swear to God, all of these bras just lick on my brain. Whoa, whoa. They sleep so rude, time to waking them. Good dude, cook food, no apron. Break rules, fake dudes, I don't play with them. Uh. I don't need to play with these niggas. I don't need to play with these hoes like that. Nope. I ain't got faith in these niggas. I ain't got faith in these hoes like that. Nope. I don't even flow like that. Not that. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. Yeah. Yo, you got a project coming out? Um, you, t- you got some drill? You got a project you got a, yeah, I got a project coming out. Let's talk about that. It's called Dope Boy Classic. Dope Boy I ain't Classic. gonna hold you. It's coming. Mm-hmm. 
2019. Okay. We got a strong movement that we right. start. So let me shout my man Fetty. You know what I'm saying? We got a movement right. for Harlem. We're gonna do some things. We're gonna be looking for talent. Right. We just we just rising the the element. But you know, right now it's Avon season. This Avon is what season. We're doing. I like that. Season, yeah. Yeah. I like that, man. I like yeah. the support. I like the genuine yeah, support. That's what we're I like doing. that. Who are you feeling right now? The new guys that's coming out of. New York period. I don't want to oh, limit it to yeah. Harlem, but who you, who I, you I fucking think, with right I think now? the city is, is we have a lot of good shit going on right, right now. I definitely fuck with Don Q. Yeah, you Don Q's a problem. Dave East. Shout it's out to a Dave lot East. of um, youngins that I'm jacking. Of course, my people from my town, my boy Ray Moolah, uh -huh. he's putting out a lot of good work right now. Um, Vado. Vado. Vado's crazy. You, he's, he's turning back that knob. Right. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to him. I like what he's doing right, right now. Neek you know, Bucks. I keep my. Neek yeah, Bucks. of course, Neek. Oh my God. What about Castro Harlem? Yeah. He's good. Yeah. He's good. I keep my people on the post. Shout out to the OGs too. Shout out to ASAP Ferg. ASAP Ferg. They, yeah, right. They hold it down for yeah. us on the on a global yeah. level. On a global level, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They represent us. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They do. And Dipset still. And Dipset still came. You know what I mean? Everybody. Right. Harlem, we got the best rappers of all times. Hey, I'm, I, I, I can't argue. Yeah. Hey, we I'm not. Listen, I'm going to co sign that because the, the, the greatest rapper was Big L to me. Right. See? Big L. See? That's my That's favorite rapper. I, we can really go pound for pound with yeah. it. I really yeah. have to use Biggie and Jay and them for the, as a barrel wise, but right. it, most of all, it's about New York City. It's about right. New York City. New York right. City, we got the best rappers of all time. Right, but right. you know, in New York, they make every borough nationality. Right, like, exactly. You're from Harlem. Right. You're not from New York. You're from Harlem. Only in New York. Only in New York. Because outside of New York, we just New York. Just New York, niggas. Right. Before we get out of here, is there anything you guys want to cover that we did not cover let people know um about you um i just want people to know um to follow me at who is avon carter okay twitter instagram facebook right that's you can contact me there you can holler shoot me some beats do whatever okay and just follow that because we're gonna be putting out a lot of stuff so you right. want to be in tune you don't want to be last on this train yeah right. not this you train. don't want to be last on this train trust me <laughs> right. there's a lot of people who come you be like damn mm -hmm. damn it should happen fast too be like they told me right and then you be and then you look up they got two million followers and i think you know what i'm saying right you, to everybody out there you don't want to be last on this avon carter project right. it's going yeah and it's, it's going up. right and you know sure. um we definitely, it's all Avon. Mm -hmm. um, we doing a lot of things. I got a new uh, jewelry line coming out for the ladies. It's called the Bend It. Y'all gonna look, I'm gonna drop that before the holidays. Okay. Um, and we just working. We gonna be looking for a lot of talent. Uh, How can they follow you if they wanna get in contact? Oh, Glowfather. You know what I'm saying? You see the clothing. I, I, I like that. I see what's going on. The glow I mean? Glowfather. Yeah, that's me. That's my movement. Right. That's God's light over the world. Well, I, you know I what like I'm that. saying? That's what we're doing. So you can follow me at Glowfather on Insta. Right. And once you see him, you're going to see me or vice versa because it's my brother and that's how we move in Harlem. This is what the real message is. It's love and unity. We bringing it together. We bringing this vibration up. It's right. a glow. Stay tuned.